Welcome to the Counters and Clock Dividers lab as a part of our FPGA VHDL lecture series. So the aim of this lab is to implement a clock divider and a special 4-bit decade counter. Clock divider is something that divides the frequency of the clock by a specific amount. A 4-bit decade counter is a counter that counts from 0 to 9. So let us go ahead and implement this using our ISE design suite. This opens up the project navigator window. We'll go ahead and create a new project. Let us call this counter and clock divider. Next, next and finish. So here we have our FPGA and our project. Let us right click and add a new source, a VHDL module of the name clock divider to start with. Say next, next and finish. <coughs> so the Xilinx software wrote a bunch of code for us. So in the port section, there is one input or rather two inputs to our system one would be of the type standard logic this is the master clock input which is the oscillator that is on our FPGA board that would be connected externally on the basis 2 board that we will be using it is a 25 megahertz oscillator then we also need a reset input just in case to reset our clock divider there would be one output to our system let us call it clock out this will also be of the type standard logic let us go ahead and create a signal to help us divide our clock we do so by writing the keyword signal between architecture and begin. Let us call this signal as divider, the type standard logic vector. So we clock 16 uh, by an amount of 16. This amount, when we do clock division by the divider technique, is usually multi powers of 2. 2, 4, 8, 16 and so on. So here I want to divide by 16. So I will need a divider of 3 down to 0 that is 4 bits. Then after begin let us initiate our process which would be sensitive to clock and reset input. So here we have to detect the input reset if it's high or low. So we'll have an active high reset which means that if reset is 1 then we must initialize our system. Let us say divider as 0 else else if now we need to detect the rising edge of the clock. If we detect a rising edge of the clock, we must increment our divider. Here, the increment of divider by this symbol plus is a mathematical operation for which we have to include the unsigned library during start of our VHDL code. So here I have in included that unsigned library which is required to implement this plus symbol. Then we can end if
and end our process. And we give the output clock out as the third bit of divider as we want the frequency division to be by 16. So the third bit will be input frequency divided by 16. The second bit would be input frequency divided by 8 and so on. Now let us go ahead and synthesize our code. Here we can see the green tick which means that hardware could be made out of our code. Let us go ahead and view the RTL schematic. Here as we can see a simple counter has been implemented by the Xilinx software due to our code. Now let us go ahead and use this clock out in another process to create our decade counter. So let us begin another process which will be sensitive to this divider 3 internal signal and let us also go ahead and create one more signal called as count. This would also be a vector of 4 bit size as the counter is a decayed counter. That is, it must count from 0 to 9. Let us begin our process. Once that is done, we have to detect if the reset is pressed or not. If it is pressed, we must initialize our count. Let us assume an active high reset. When reset is high, we'll initialize the count to 0000. zero, zero, zero. Else, if we detect a rising edge of divider 3 this time, as that would be our clock or the reference signal on whose positive edges we will increment the counter then if we detect the rising edge of divider 3 we must increment the counter by 1 but here we need a decayed counter so we have to detect if the count is equal to 10 or not so here we have to write one more if statement along with this reset. So we have to reset our counter when reset is pressed or when count is equal to 10. 10 in binary will be represented by 1010. Zero, one, zero. So whenever count reaches the value of 10 or if reset is pressed, our counter will be initialized to 0. If not, our counter will be incremented depending on the edge of the divider 3 clock. So that concludes our logic. 
we can end our process also to display this count output we will include an output called as count out which would be an output of standard logic vector with a size of 3 down to 0 a 4 bit size as our count signal is four of 4 bits let us assign that here outside the process asynchronously assign count out as the internal signal count here both of them are of same size so let us go ahead and synthesize so here we get a warning called one or more signals is missing from the sensitivity list so let us add that signal here to remove that warning and resynthesize our code here we can see that hardware was created from our schematic so the RTL schematic that can be viewed here has two counters and one less or constant less or equal constant block that was made and an OR statement because of the count or reset that we implemented that's it from the lab part now let us meet in the simulation part of this lab